Right, it's not often I do a book review. That's because I don't do book reviews at all. <laughs> I don't do books. Um, I don't read books. But then again, I bought between 500 books and 1,000 books, that many, uh, over the last 20 years. Why is that? I had good intentions, I just obviously haven't followed through. I don't know if I'm dyslexic or I think I've got ADHD. Just find it hard to focus because my thinking is, you know, I get easily distracted. I'm more hocus pocus than focus. But one of my subscribers, though, has sent me a book. He's recommended this. It's called The Blood Bus by The Driver, an anonymous driver. And it says, Tales from the Glasgow Buses. And this is from 608 Dave, who was originally a bus driver in Glasgow. And Dave actually knows some drivers that know this particular driver who wrote the book, obviously. There's a reason why he's anonymous. I don't think he wanted anyone to know, obviously, he was writing this book. But it's very interesting because it talks about Glasgow and obviously the buses at night time. It says here, Tales from the Glasgow Buses. When he got his first job on the buses, the driver looked forward to providing an invaluable service for the people of Glasgow. But he soon realised that it wasn't going to be quite like he'd thought. In the blood bus, join the driver on his journey into the unknown as he gets behind the wheel for the very first time. Meet some extraordinary characters and unusual colleagues and drive some dodgy buses through bandit country and beyond. Dodgy buses. I've driven some dodgy buses in my time, I tell you. <laughs> anyway, it says, meet the Muppets, the Neds, the Junkies, the Junkies. Obviously, the Junkies are, are people on drugs and the Junkies are people who get drunk. Um, the students and the ordinary people of Glasgow as they all go about their daily business on and off the buses. Can the driver survive a year in the job? Will he manage to dodge the bricks in Drum Chapel? Will he ever find his way to East Kilbride? And can he get a Ned to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to the passengers on the number 44 bus? Find out all this and more in an extraordinary account of a year behind the wheel of a Glasgow bus. It'll change your bus journeys forever. There you go. It's the Blood Bus. And um, actually I will give this to somebody uh, when, once I've finished it. It's the, it's the Wednesday the 5th of April today, 2017. So on the 5th of May, in one month's time, 2017, I'll have the book finished, hopefully, and I'll pass it to somebody. The main reason for that is because I accidentally bought one. I saw the comment left by uh, Dave on one of my videos, and I don't know, I just forgot. I ended up ordering it from Amazon for a few pence. Uh, obviously, delivery was £2.80. So it was under £3, and uh, another book's going to come soon, but this one came earlier, and I didn't realise it was actually from Dave. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. So, yeah, anyway, it says here the Terminus. That's the end of the book, and just about 30 chapters. It was written in 2007, so that was 10 years ago. Uh, and there's a bit here that says, We'd better get back, because it'll be dark soon, and they mostly come at night. Mostly. Sounds scary. Whatever comes out at night. Ooh. Sounds like, obviously, what Glasgow's like on a night in certain places. Reminds me of uh, the film Pitch Black with Vin Diesel. And uh, all the monsters come out at night on that planet. You know, it sounds like a nice planet during the day where, you know, they're not on this planet. All these people. And they end up dying throughout the film. And it's these monsters that come out at night and kill people. It reminds me of that. So, uh... I'm going to enjoy reading the Blood Bus, Dave. Th thanks for that. And this will I'll do a question and answer uh, thing in a month's time for someone to win this book. But it's just, uh, yeah, fantastic. Glasgow. Glasgow. I always remember Rab C. Nesbitt, a comedy set in Govan in, in Glasgow. And uh, it was like a bit like a dodgy, violent area. Quite scary. And it showed, it's obviously, um, it was, it was um, probably based on some true story you know, drunks, uh, but Rowdy Nesbitt was Gregor Fisher, the actor, and it was just hilarious, for, it was over, it was the 80s and 90s, it was going over a few decades, this comedy, and uh, Rowdy Nesbitt made me laugh, so that's the only bit I know about Glasgow, is drunk people, obviously there's more to Glasgow than drunk people, but obviously this book's saying something else as well, in terms of, even though there's some good bits in Glasgow, there's some dodgy bits, and I'm going to look forward to reading this, so anyway, thank you very much everyone, and I'll see you all very soon, uh, and I'll do a review on this book in a month, and tell you what it's like if I can finish it before then. Uh, okay, thank you everyone, bye-bye, and I'll see you all later.